All right, it's a film that will save lives. Below the Belt shares the inspiring stories of patients urgently searching for answers to mysterious symptoms. Here is a sneak peek. It took me 10 doctors to find someone that believed my pain. I thought maybe I'm dying or I have some kind of rare disease. Then I go online and find that millions of women are going through exactly what I'm going through. And this is an incredible film that's being screened tomorrow night. We're joined by Elise Courtois and Heather Guidon. Both uh, are passionate about this disease, endometriosis, and uh, Jackson Labs in Farmington, our own Jackson Labs, is involved. Both of them are here ahead of the Below the Belt film that really explores an urgent need to improve women's health care. I think, you know, we think we're getting a lot better, but I can't tell you, as I told people I was hosting this event, how many people have said, oh my gosh, I suffered for so long and nobody told me what was wrong with me. Is that yeah. the, welcome to both of you? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for is, is that Heather? Is that what happens? Is are we still at that point where um, you just people will complain, and a lot of times the doctor will say, "Yeah, take some Advil." Absolutely. I mean, I think that there's this misnomer that this is an obscure disease, and it's not. Endometriosis affects almost 200 million uh, women, girls, and gender expansive folks around the world. So it's a huge problem. But part of the problem is that it's often linked to menstruation because period pain is one of the symptoms. But it's a systemic inflammatory disease, and the endometrial-like tissue can be found in any organ system. Oh. So it can be very difficult to pinpoint that diagnosis if a doctor is not listening to their patient. And it's highly invasive, is that right? Extremely. You can have bowel problems, bladder problems. We've had many, many patients with lung endometriosis. Uh, you name it, it's been found there. Wow, that's incredible. What do you wish women knew about this? Well, I, I wish uh, they knew that um, pain is not normal and we have to um, um, tell the symptoms when we feel them, but also that there is um, an effort that we can do to try to uh, improve the research and to really push um, legislative initiatives uh, like the one that we see in Connecticut to try to address it. Right, Jillian Gilcrest of West Hartford, um, she's going to be joining us as we take a deeper dive in the Care is Cures podcast. But what needs to change um, at the law level so that we can help more women? Well, it needs to be prioritized. Uh, it needs to be the focus of research. It needs to be the focus of education and awareness. Uh, we need to talk about it. We need to research. We need to really uh, get the tools we need at the research level to uh, understand better ways to treat this disease and to diagnose it early. Can, can I, I'm going to ask a stupid question. Is there pain isolated to a certain part of the body or it's all over and you can't explain it or what, how does that work? Interestingly enough, um, there are several studies that show that folks with endometriosis really talk about multiple pain generators in different parts of their body. A lot of it may be related to pelvic pain, but it doesn't really stop there. Okay. You can have body-wide pain, fatigue, um, exhaustion, uh, bowel issues. You know, you may feel pain in your leg. Um, Wow. Yeah, does not it, unusual. This is another question because I was actually talking to my mother-in-law over the weekend and uh, a lot of older women were diagnosed when they were younger, but does endometrios in endometriosis go away after you hit menopause? No, that is an old wives' tale. Okay, um, so you can along, still be suffering yeah, because absolutely. of that. Absolutely, along the lines of hysterectomy is a cure, pregnancy is a cure, menopause is a cure, and that's just not true. You can find it uh, before an individual's first period, you can find it after hysterectomy and oophorectomy. Um, it's, it's such it's such a confusing disease they really they call it an enigma wrapped in a riddle mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. um, which is a perfect example of, of really the mystery surrounding endometriosis and you're hosting the event tomorrow Karen yes I'm hosting that it's a movie it's a screening um, there's really some high-level producers there Jillian Gilcrest um, who is uh, one of our lawmakers she's got an act concerning endometriosis it's a waiting action so it, as we talk to people out there women who are saying oh my gosh I think I have this or I was treated this way what can they do um, in Connecticut to maybe help with this? Well, they certainly can show uh, their uh, representative that this is something that needs to be addressed, and we need to move this um, act forward. Call their representative. To, yes, absolutely. absolutely. Thank you, ladies. We'll take Thank a deeper so dive much. on the Cares Cares podcast. I hope you join us tomorrow, March 7th, um, at the Jackson Laboratory. Um, I'll have information on fa Facebook or jacks.org slash below the belt. You can come to the screening. We'll have a conversation after. All right, thanks so much for being with us here on Great Day and Monday. We're going to be off tomorrow and Wednesday for soccer, but we'll be back Thursday, so don't go anywhere. Brand new show starting Thursday. Have a great Monday. I want to see what four is next.